All right, everybody, here it is. I'm gonna do a quick comparison between the all new Puffy, check that out, Puffy Goat. This is the Waka Puffy Goat, and I'm gonna put it against uh, the Liquid Logic Sweet Ride, which to me is kind of like the same category that they're reaching here, that River Runner half slice, not stern squirting everywhere, but more that flowy River Runner half slice. And looking over them here, you can kind of see the difference in them here. I'll throw the specs up on the screen and let you guys check them out, because I don't know exactly what the specs are, but I think the, this one's nine foot. I know the Sweet Ride is nine foot, and that might be around about nine foot. The volume is probably higher on the Sweet Ride than that. But looking over them here, you can kind of see, and as far as sizing, you know, they both can accommodate a wide range of paddlers now that that one's swelled up. This is kind of like the Puffy Stees, small Puffy Stees in their theory. So let's just kind of like look over these bowels real quick. You can see the rocker's kind of the same on these bowels right here. To me, that rocker looks fairly similar. But the Waka rocker has more up kick to it, where that's more like a smooth progression rocker, and that kind of like has an up kick. And definitely the width here is wider here compared to this. This boat still has a tendency to kind of pierce in and lift, where that kind of has that style of hit and go up because you can see how they brought that volume out here and the volume's kind of tapered here. And obviously, they updated their handles. Good job on the Waka. Little more narrow here, but it's higher cockpit rim. And I fit very comfortable, both of them. Waka's outfitting's really good. I love Waka's back band, hip pads. I love their entire setup. Really good on Waka. Thigh braces, Liquid Logic has adjustable. These have the molded in style. Both of them have ratcheted back bands. This one has handles back here, that one doesn't. And then you look at this tail, this is where it's different. So what Liquid Logic done, they have that rocker up, where this actually doesn't have a lot of rocker. When you look at the difference in rocker in those two, wow. Look at the difference in those rocker, Roy. Roy loves him some rocker. Look at that. That's probably three or four inches higher in the tails between those. And this has more of a straight on out where that kind of like tapers back. So let's roll them over and look at the holes real quick. There's that Waka flat bow right here. They have the edges. Edges are similar, but the Liquid Logic edge is brought down a lot where that's actually very close to the waterline. Looking at these two edges here. I definitely like a Waka in bigger water, that's for sure. Way less likely to get pushed around. The width in the back, the goat's wider back here. And they have that flat edge back here where this is like very tapered back here. Swallow tail right there. That's kind of the flat tail out with a little bit of negative kick on it. This is the guy. He's still hanging on the brown claws. What do you think about these two, Roy? What do you think about them? Um, have really, you paddled the Sweet Ride? I haven't yet, but just looking at it, I really do like seeing Liquid Logic starting to do a little bit with an edge. Yeah, <laughs> hey, a, how about yeah. that? <laughs> it's only 2023, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, it looks pretty good. I, I'd love to try one. Someday. But you can see these boats, pretty different philosophies on the way they did the edge. Yeah. Look how long that Waka brought their edge out before they started tapering the rocker down. Yeah. Well, there it is, Sweet Ride and um, Puffy Goat. You gotta love a puffy.